Hi, welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, in case you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And for all you good folks who have been with me for a while, um, thank you so much for your support. I hope to have uh, your support as well in my future videos and also for the year 2022 and beyond. <laughs> so yes, I'm so excited in this video because uh, once again, I'll be doing an overview of a backpack that I that is not mine, that I proxied for somebody, uh, you know, all the way on the other side of the globe. Uh, Frederick, thank you so much for allowing me to do this uh, this uh, video because uh, of you, I'm, I'm able to do such a video because I don't suppose uh, I have seen any videos of this pack on uh, YouTube. So similar pack, yes, but uh, this special one, no. Uh, so yeah, this video is going out to all you good folks. Uh, before I begin, the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to uh, Mr. Ho, also known as uh, Michael Lin. Uh, basically, the story behind it is uh, he asked me to get him some stuff from Japan and uh, you know, I got him his stuff and I included a little Japanese uh, like amulet, a little trinket and I sent it out to him and uh, out of appreciation, he sent me this giant like thank you package all the way from US, you know. What is included in the package? a oak cliff coffee you know he asked me do i like coffee who doesn't like coffee yes i like coffee yeah i like to grind my own beans and uh, arrange the um you know consistency and the the strength of the coffee so i like yeah beans you know not powder but powder is fine too but yeah i like to grind the beans smells great thank you so much for this uh also uh cultivar coffee as well <laughs> and um he has a little like a beautiful message handwritten message attached to the package he also sent me this uh special limited edition snow peak a mini hozuki yeah this one is uh done in collaboration with uh, the snow festival this year remember the other video in the other video i was talking about i got this uh like limited edition chopsticks yeah this is part of the series you know this is really really special thank you so much for this um the regular versions is like it has a white cap what is this this is like a just a little mini lantern that allows you to you know have that candle flicking effect but it's just LED LED lights are run by three batteries and it's an awesome little package besides this you know this is limited so thank you so much <laughs> he also sent me this uh 1927 s'mores a company that makes a really awesome s'mores uh, I went online and checked about this. Checked out about this company. It seems like they are pretty, pretty famous locally in the states. Uh, uh, what is s'more? Basically, it's like a U.S. snack that you roast the marshmallow and you sandwich it between two pieces of biscuit. And this one is the whiskey salted caramel kit. Thank you so much for this. So yeah, besides all this stuff, he also sent me two special patches. Ta -da! <laughs> this one is from Modern Arms. I do believe this is a limited edition run. I think 250 pieces or 300 pieces. Uh, look at that. That's so awesome. A samurai, you know, uh, helmet, uh, face mask in red glory. Also, he also, also included in the package is this little um, special patch here in Japanese uh, design. I don't know which series this patch is from. Maybe from the Dan Matsuda series. I'm not sure. So two special patches, uh, limited edition patches and uh, limited ed edition snow peak gear. How cool is that? Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ho. I send you just a little small trinket. You send me an entire uh, American festive season package. Thank you so much. Uh, that really made my day. I also picked up our there's a Pineapple Express patch until they all come home. Yeah, Operation Pineapple Express. Uh, what is the Operation Pineapple Express? Go on Google and check it out. It's a, basically the story of a bunch of uh, special forces people uh, in um, war zones getting their allies out under the cover of the night. They did it without official order. So, you know, if you're a fan of like, uh, you know, the CBS series uh, SEAL Team, you should get yourself one of these patches. Um, I want to make a disclaimer that a uh, Mike Spans, the guy who uh, you know got these patches out, uh, even though none of the proceeds uh, from these patches will be going to the operators or their families or anyone involved, uh, I don't care. I still want to get one of these patches to wear in their honor because there were like some people talking about online like, you know, why should we support this if uh, none of the proceeds are going to the families? This like this is like I think ten bucks or fifteen bucks, and given the embroidery and everything involved in it, even the effort in it, um, I'm not gonna question Mike. You know, it's already like thank him so much, thank you Mike so much for really doing this, and uh, I do believe Mike know some of those guys. You know, in the few uh, the operators uh, personally, so grab them a beer or something. Um, 
This is, uh, I don't think you can get this anywhere else. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, I have it on my mystery wrench pack permanently. Okay, with that out of the way, with this uh, huge shout out to Mike Spans for this patch, with uh, this entire thank you package from uh, Mr. Ho. Uh, let's just get the video going. Um, thank you. Once again, thank you so much for Frederick. So I want to thank three people, you know. Frederick for this backpack right here. Here we have it. <laughs> what is this? Ather and Mystery Ranch. Uh, what is the Ather? Ather is a Los Angeles based a company that makes uh, outdoor gears and equipment for like, uh, you know, snowboarding, uh, skiing, <laughs> if I'm not wrong. I don't really know about the company Ather, but I do know about Mystery Ranch because I'm a huge Mystery Ranch fanboy. So basically this pack right here is a 21 liter a waterproof nylon material made in the exact same fashion as the Mystery Ranch Robo Flip, which I don't believe you can get it now. It might be discontinued, but I'm not sure. So this is a, a collaboration between Ather and Mystery Ranch. It's a, there's a two colorway. This one is called Graphite, which is gray and a red anodized uh, hardware, a red aluminum anodized hardware. And on the inside is red as well. There's also a black version with blue anodized hardware. So uh, I was searching one night, one night uh, before I went to bed for Mystery Ranch stuff, uh, Japanese exclusive Mystery Ranch stuff. And I found, you know, stumbled upon this website that has this pack in stock. So the black one is really sold out. So I was like searching around. There weren't a lot of information uh, except uh, bits and pieces here and there. Uh, some articles uh, talking about this uh, collaboration online. Uh, it might be not a recent collaboration, but uh, it might be one of these uh, lucky finds that, you know, on the old stock uh, that is still available. So uh, I was asking around a forum and a lot of people uh, like, uh, you know, don't know about this pack. Uh, some people know it, know, knows about it. You know, it used to be available in the States, but I don't think, don't think you can get this anywhere else. So uh, I kind of wanted this pack for myself initially, but I realized that I have, uh, you know, awesome packs to work with don't really need another additional pack so I asked if anyone wants this pack and uh, Frederick uh, offered to pick up this pack and I asked him he gave me official permission to mention him and also do a, an overview of his pack for him so thank you so much um, yeah so here it is after in a collaboration with Mystery Ranch 21 liter pack done in um, a what is that a waterproof nylon uh, can find a lot of uh, information online to tell me you know what exactly are the materials but it's made by mystery ranch so i have no doubt about the uh, quality and uh, it's under the mystery ranch mountain series on the outside is very simple nothing uh fanciful except this uh you know <laughs> anodized uh, aluminum a uh, clip system that allows you to undo it very easily uh you know the compression straps on both sides and it just slot into the gate uh like seamlessly and there you go uh really cool blink uh, personally is lightweight uh, but i don't like it because it makes that you know <laughs> bell sound you know and i'm not an operator so uh, i don't bring this out to the field it's uh you know just a very nice uh, urban style backpack so uh, it's not gonna affect me in any way but personally i don't like having bling blinks and uh, noisy stuff on my on my gear <laughs> that's just me you know you may like it so yeah everyone's uh you know opinion differs you know so on the outside, very simple, uh, classic, a uh, top loading backpack, a uh, no zip in the middle, like a mystery wrench tri zip on the back. It's a fixed uh, yoke system. It's not like the mystery wrench of Futuro yoke where you can adjust it to the length of your torso. No waist belt, no outside water po water pockets. Very sleek, very simple design. Uh, on the top here, there's a pocket that allows you to fit all your you know, a uh, miscellaneous uh, small items. No a uh, key clip or a key strap um, all the uh, zippers are i do believe done in ykk um, zippers it's not weather coated that's just a fabric over uh, covering the zippers uh, it's not rubber coated or anything and on the zipper pulls uh, it has the ether a uh, logo on it no mystery wrench logo on it and it doesn't say it's ykk or anything and uh Basically, yep, uh, that's about it for this pack. <laughs> Not a lot to talk about, except it's a uh, collaboration, it's cool. Off center, a vertical, a daisy chain allows you to add your bling bling uh, accessories on the bottom after an mystery wrench patch. A four compression straps on both sides on the back. A 
well padded a shoulder straps that is uh, definitely adjustable sternum strap with a slightly a different design in the you know G clip uh, it doesn't look like a G but it's also anodized aluminum clip that allows you to slot into the uh, the other side of the sternum strap which is just a very thick a strap of uh, nylon material a button system uh, for the sternum strap allows you to move the length accordingly to your you know a, uh, your height your chest height and uh, in this uh, predetermined a what is that a loop system <laughs> so other than that yeah you can add, uh, add more blinks to the loop system as well uh, at the bottom here uh, there are two pieces of really really small a uh, discrete elastic that allows you to keep uh, all the loose ends for your shoulder straps in place and not nothing on the <laughs> a, what is that compression straps to keep the straps from flipping around so yeah basically very simple backpack uh, very nice uh, comfortable drag handler Definitely provides a lot more cushion than the Mystery Ranch uh, Military Series. Um, pulling open the zippers, uh, unzipping the back, you can see it's uh, red on the inside. Beautiful color, beautiful shade of red. Gray on the outside, red on the inside. Uh, back, <laughs> back. Laptop uh, compartment on the back here that is uh, suspended off uh, the pack at the bottom. And in front of the, um, what is that? The, laptop pocket there's also a a what is it a velcro secured a small little like a pocket maybe for smaller flat items or maybe for an ipad and on that uh note uh there's a little tag here that has the a ather logo and mystery range that's really cool hopefully uh, we can see more of these kind of uh special collaboration with mystery range and other companies and uh, on the inside of the pack I don't suppose you can see it clearly in the video on the on your left, which is on my right, there is a water bottle compartment, uh, just like in our uh, Mystery Ranch, a uh, tri-zip design. It's only on one side, don't really, <laughs> yeah, it's on, on this side, nothing on this side. So basically, one pocket, two pocket, and three pockets, uh, classic top loader. Can't really see what's on the inside because it's really dark, but it's 21 liters, it's perfect for, you know, your urban carry, and uh, it's a very well-made pack, and this uh, waterproof material, a waterproof nylon fuse uh, a little bit like hypalon but i don't suppose it's hypalon <laughs> basically yep that's about it very simple pack uh, beautiful design functional uh it's a too bad i don't get to keep it because uh this pack costs like uh i don't know 235 dollars or something i'm not sure where's the price tag yeah 235 dollars recommended retail price don't think you can get this anywhere else uh it's a collaboration done a few years back if i'm not wrong and I happened to snag this off the Japanese website, which was the only piece. So yeah, uh, congratulations on Frederick for getting this piece. Uh, I'm like a, well, 12 minutes, 13 minutes into the video. Uh, my videos are usually not that long. So yeah, just like to keep it short and sweet. I'm not, will, I will not be able to do any, uh, you know, six months uh, overview, review of this pack because uh, once this video is done, I'm flying this pack out to Frederick um, so that he can enjoy his pack. And uh, me just gonna look for other packs to do uh, reviews on or overviews on. On the bottom of the pack, uh, I do believe this is ballistic nylon, a different kind of material from the a waterproof nylon here. So allows a uh, more, uh, you know, abrasion resistance uh, from the bottom of the pack when you put it down and, um, you know, God knows where you're going to put your pack in. So uh, I think it would be really cool to have uh, these packs in my collection, but unfortunately, um, it's not, <laughs> it's not uh, my call on that. I don't collect backpacks. Uh, I use my backpack. So yeah, basically... That's about it. You know, thank you for checking out my videos. Thank you so much for all following me, uh, my videos all the way to the end. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, I will see you guys in uh, future videos when I do unboxing. No, not an unboxing. When I do more videos of uh, a few other backpacks that I have in my house. Uh, thank you so much. I'll see you guys. Bye.